So my name is Liz Moran. I'm the Environmental Policy Director for NYPIRG, the New York Public Interest Research Group. And I'm thrilled to be joined by Assemblymember Pat Fahey. Pat, would you like to take a moment to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, great to be here again, uh, Assemblymember Pat Fahey, uh, representing the 109th District, which includes the City of Albany and three surrounding towns, uh, Bethlehem, Gilderland, and New Scotland. Great to be with you. Great, thank you. So we're now approaching the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. 50 years ago, people began organizing uh, to fight for a cleaner and healthier environment uh, that protects our shared natural resources and of course public health. And we're now finding ourselves in a very scary time um, where people are seeking refuge in our natural world um, both for calm and for public health uh, more than ever. So we'd like to hear from you. What does Earth Day mean to you, Pat? Well, I think um, Earth Day uh, just often means a reminder, right? Let's take care of the planet Earth. Let's value it. Uh, let's do all we can to protect it, right? But as you've said, during this uh, horrific time, uh, this, the, where, as we are at the height of the pandemic, it is also a reminder that we need to value so many more things about the earth. And some of that is just making sure that we are appreciating nature because it is part of this health and part of this protection, if you will, uh, to be outside walking and trying to um, uh, appreciate the sunshine and the need to help our mental health uh, as we get out for walks, runs, hikes, bike rides. Um, I've encouraged it with, with everyone. Um, and uh, by uh, tomorrow, we'll all be wearing masks as well when we are out in public, unless we are more than six feet apart. Uh, and that's a good thing as well, but it also means um, uh, there's, there's a real wake-up call here on, on what the outdoors is going to bring. Yeah, great points. Um, so you've been a tremendous environmental champion. Um, so what we'd love to hear from you is what environmental policy are you most proud of or um, what environmental policy are you most excited to achieve in the near future? Well, there's been a few and uh, I appreciate the kind words. I think the environment, uh, especially tied to climate change, is Absolutely. It's the quiet crisis of our time. And I'm one who keeps saying we've got to stop being quiet about it and make sure that all are valuing the environment and caring for the planet Earth. Uh, we've made a number of achievements here in New York. Uh, most recently, uh, last year, we did finally the plastic bag ban, because I think that's a real visual of um, the 23 billion that were used just in New York every year was a real visual of, of um, how we weren't taking enough care of the environment. We've made a, a few steps backwards on that uh, under the pandemic, but I'm hoping that we can get back to uh, uh, to making sure people understand the need to get away from plastics in general. And I, as you know, I have a few bills on that to require that plastic uh, be made of anywhere from 75%, depending on the bill, 75% to 100% recycled materials. Uh, the other big achievement for this year is the $3 billion Environmental Bond Act uh, that we hope will go before the voters in November. I think the economy is going to dictate some of that. I had a larger bill, a $5 billion one, but one piece that did carry over into the bill that was included in the budget, the $3 billion, is that we include SUNY and CUNY as applicants under that. And that's going to be really critical because it's not just upgrading, they have the bulk of uh, the state uh, office buildings. So it's not just including their ret retrofitting and um, making sure that they are maximizing energy savings in those buildings, but it will also include their research component to make sure that we are making the critical investments and providing the critical research to try to maximize um, our energy uses, especially um, our, as we uh, hopefully move toward 100% renewable energy. So, so that's been a probably one of the biggest accomplishments. I, I always love to talk about what didn't work uh, in addition to what did. And one disappointment for me this year is that uh, I was not able to move a couple of my environmental, um, of my electric vehicle bills. I had one in the budget. I'd like to encourage uh, or increase the tax credit uh, to waive your state 
sales tax credit, or, sorry, to waive your state sales tax when you buy an electric vehicle uh, that did not prevail, given that we are looking at um, uh, historic uh, budget shortfalls. Uh, so we have a little bit more to do to promote electric vehicle and promote alternative transportation. That's great. We're so excited to work with you on all of these things, Assembly Member, and thank you so much for all the work that you've done. There's, you know, I look at the glass half full. We are making inroads, uh, but every time I come up with a list of what we have accomplished, I have just as long a list of what we need to keep doing. Um, I'm hoping during this pandemic that when people are out for walks, there's a whole new appreciation for nature, for being outdoors, and for uh, uh, caring for our planet Earth. So let's hope that uh, um, in the next few years, we'll make even more strides. Thanks so much.